Welcome to the Android channel and today we're going to talk about a uh, nice little app free. Uh, of course there's a paid version that apparently adds new features and I will be of course exploring also the paid version in a uh, future video in the next few days. It's called AirPlay DLNA Receiver Lite by Waxrain Technology. I have been searching for apps to um, you know, do AirPlay from my iPad and iPhone and um, it's kind of difficult to find uh, apps that do all the features of an Apple TV with your iOS device. So um, this is probably the start of a series of videos on doing AirPlay on your Android TV box. So uh, this is installed on my, app, uh, my Android TV box of, with KitKat version 4.4.2 and um, it's a video, audio and photo receiver as they say in a DLNA media receiver so if you have any DLNA enabled uh, media stuff on your network it will of course uh, have it going on. It can get all the audio from for example your uh, PC with iTunes or your Mac with iTunes and iPhone and iPad if you uh, stream it uh, will work and um, the only thing it doesn't do is mirroring with my iOS devices which I find a little sad because mirroring is something that I like um, for example I might want to check email on my iPhone and have it sent to my TV for better viewing and uh, so it doesn't support that type of mirroring um, it says that it's missing uh, some codecs and doesn't support it. so um, I'll be curious to check if maybe the paid version will let me mirror. So once it's installed you get this little uh, icon here that I see on my uh, desktop and uh, basically it's a very basic interface. You see this, you see what you can enable or disable and it tells you it can airplay and air tune for video photo streaming and audio streaming there's the DLNA uh, Universal Plug and Play Media Photo Streaming. The device name, which it says device nickname, ITV. So uh, you can change that if you want and go here and say, okay, I'll actually put it um, as a name for Android TV Box. Press enter. Here it goes. So once you've renamed the box what happens is that the box name will show up in your devices so for example now I've got device nickname Android TV box which means now I will go on my iPhone here and on my iPhone I'll actually uh, for example take Ustream now yes Ustream exists on Android so you don't need this app on your iPhone but if you're looking at something on your iPhone why not? When I look, I have, of course, my sharing icon on the bottom right. I just click here, and behold, I have Android TV Box showing up. And uh, for some reason, I don't see it, but there's also my Apple TV usually. What you do is you just click there, and immediately it's going to start the audio stream stuff on the device. It's going to load the media resource. As you see here, paid version release, better experience, and so on. And here you have NASA TV from Ustream. Now, what's interesting is that once it's streaming, the device actually goes on on its own. For example, I've stopped Ustream and I come back to my iPhone screen. Why? Because most of the streaming stuff is actually handled by the Android device itself. So it's pretty cool because it means that once you've actually sent the stream to your Android box, you can stop the AirPlay from your iPhone and it's going to be autonomous. It's going to work by itself, streaming from the web, whatever link, whatever video, whatever thing you sent it. So that's really nice. So for in the case where you want to send some videos online on your TV box on your TV, 
it's really cool because on the Apple TV, if I stop the streaming on my phone, it's going to stop the streaming on the Apple TV because the Apple TV needs to have it from the iPhone or iPad. So this is actually better in a sense because once you stream something, most of the online streaming is on its own. You can actually take your iPad or iPhone, do something else with it, stop the airplay mode, which is really cool. Of course, if you are watching a video that's stored in your iPhone, then you will need to, of course, keep it in airplay mode because now it's stored in the device itself. Um, works very well. I've streamed music, I've streamed video, uh, HD videos look really nice HD. Uh, things work really well. So, uh, as you see here, the streaming is going on by itself and it's continuing. And if I want to stop it, all I have to do is, you know, just go back to my login screen and so on. So, uh, it's pretty cool actually. If you're looking for something, and um, you know, this is mostly um, because Android devices already have some kind of um, you know airplay capabilities in their versions but this is nice because if you have an iPad or an iPhone uh, you know Android and iOS are two different operating systems so you're looking for something to stream your iOS device well this will do the job as long as everything is on the same Wi-Fi network so uh, pretty cool hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video if you're looking for a way to uh, you know, get a uh, online stream of any iOS device you have in your home. And even a Mac computer is going to work uh, as long as it's uh, viewed through iTunes. Um, AirPlay DNLA, DLNA receiver Lite uh, from Wax Ring Tech. And uh, there's a paid version, and I'm going to actually buy it to see how it improves. Maybe it will enable mirroring that is disabled by default for the free version. If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. We'll try to post videos every week. And uh, if you have any Android, uh, you know, thing, uh, any problem, any questions, anything that I could do a video of, why not ask away? We'll try to post a video and help you with your Android phone or TV box or whatever device that's using AirPlay. Um, I'm expecting in a few weeks to have a new device that will have the uh, new uh, version 5 of um, Android, Lollipop. So we will be upgrading, of course, to version 5 uh, soon as we want to keep up with technology. Uh, this one is on 4.4.2. So thanks for watching.